everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be going over something a bit unique. Two PC builds that are meant for streaming on Twitch, but they need to work together to be able to pull it off perfectly. Basically, it's a dual setup. The best way to stream to Twitch.tv is using two computers. One dedicated to encoding video and getting it to Twitch, getting it live. And one dedicated to to gaming and playing games and doing all of that stuff. This isn't a budget build though. Most people get into Twitch, they buy a system like my $800 Twitch streaming build, you can check it at the eye up there, and they get into Twitch and start streaming and do all that stuff and then once money starts coming in and it starts to become a job, they take that system that they built, start using that for encoding and then buy a new gaming PC. However, I'm going to assume with this video that you don't want to do that. You want to start off with two systems. And if that's the case, that's what we're going to do and this is the video for you. Nevertheless though, you can check out any and all of the parts that I mention in this video in the description down below on Amazon. If you go down there and buy any of those parts through any of those links, it does help support our channel. So thank you very, very much for doing that in advance. Also, before we get on into it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. So let's go ahead and start off with our gaming build. This is where you're going to be playing your games and doing all the stuff like that. For our processor, we're going with an AMD Ryzen 3 1300X. This is going to be a competent CPU that will allow you to game pretty much any and all modern games at max settings 1080p, which is what we want with this system because you can't stream it more than 1080p to Twitch. Also, this CPU is good enough that you could stream off this system, say your streaming system went down. That's good too. We're going to be throwing a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo aftermarket CPU cooler on this thing should you want to overclock it because this is in fact an overclockable processor so you can do that if you wish. Now, what motherboard are we putting it in? Well, we're going with an MSI B350 PC Mate motherboard. This thing supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM so if you wanted to use this system for video editing in the future, you could upgrade your RAM and do that. It's going to have plenty of support for our graphics graphics card as well as a sound card or something like that if you wanted to add it to the system even though it's not needed. A Wi-Fi card, you can add all of that to this system without any issues. It also has support for M.2 storage which is great. Now moving on to our RAM, we're going with 16 gigabytes to 8 gigabyte sticks. Of course their Vengeance LPX DDR4 3000 RAM. This is going to be plenty of RAM for gaming watching chat and discording, things like that that you might want to do. You can do that with this system, no problems while playing games. Most games don't use more than 8 gigabytes, which leaves you 8 gigabytes for everything else. Competent amount of RAM at a good speed. I'm all for that. Moving on to our hard drives though, we're going with an SSD, but an M.2 SSD from Western Digital. A Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD to store any and all of our operating system, our games, things like like that. Games that you want to access quickly can go on this M.2 drive. However, you're streaming to Twitch and let's say you're a variety streamer and stream tons of different PC games. We're also throwing in a Toshiba 4 terabyte hard drive that can house any and all of those big games that maybe you play once a month but you don't want to have to keep over and over downloading them and downloading them. You can store those on the Toshiba 4 terabyte without any issues. Moving on to our graphics card, we're going with an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte graphics card which will be able to play any and all modern games at 1080p which again is what we're going for here because you can't really play games at higher than that and stream them to Twitch. Twitch only allows 1080p video so there's no reason to go with uh, more than a 1066 gigabyte. I mean there's just not but if you wanted to you could but there's no reason to. I tried to keep this thing a little bit in budget. Now, we still need a case and power supply. It doesn't really matter what case you throw this thing in, but I'm putting it in a Cougar MX330 case. This is going to be a competent case with a side window, good cooling, plenty of cable management, all of that stuff 
for a gaming build like this. As far as the power supply goes, we're going with a 520 watt Seasonic 80 plus bronze certified power supply. This will give us plenty of room to do a bit of overclocking if we want. Nothing crazy. It's not really needed for gaming anyway. And it allows us to bring the entire build in at $975.27 at the time this video is made. Now, that's for our gaming system. We still need to build an entirely separate system for streaming and doing our video encoding. So let's go ahead and do that. An Intel Core i7-8700K. This is going to be a great processor with six cores and a 3.7 gigahertz base clock to encode video to Twitch. Some may say this is overkill, but at the end of the day, if you're going to do this, do it right. You're going to be able to encode at 6,000 bit rate, the max Twitch allows, without any issues whatsoever with this processor. Now, I'm going to be throwing a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo on this thing as well in order to allow you to overclock it if you wish, and it is something you might see some benefit from when you're doing encoding. So, something to look into and something I'd probably suggest doing on this system. Now, moving on to our motherboard, we're going with an MSI Z370 Gaming Plus Full ATX motherboard, meaning you're not going to have any issues with expandability, a video capture card, things like like that that we need to put in here. They're gonna have any issues with that, so that is freaking awesome. Moving on from there, we're going with two eight gigabyte sticks for 16 total gigabytes of G-Skill RIP JAWS 5 DDR4 3000 RAM. You could actually pop this RAM into your other system if you wanted to and it would work just fine. However, we only need 16 gigabytes. This isn't going to be doing more than maybe running chat and encoding video, so you don't need a ton of multitasking options here. So 16 gigabytes will be perfect. For our storage, I'm going with a 500 gig Gigabyte MX500 Crucial SSD. This is going to be a great SSD to boot off of and things of that nature. Have any programs you want on there, that's where they're going to be stored. I'm also throwing in two 4 terabyte HDDs from Toshiba in order to store video. If you want to store all of your streams locally, these powerhouses will be able to do it, and that's why I'm throwing them in this system. You can take these out if you wanted. They're not necessary if you don't plan on storing your streams, but if you do, you've got that option. On to our graphics card. We're not putting a great graphics card in this thing. This system is not meant for gaming. It is meant for encoding to Twitch. So we're just putting an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti 4 gigabyte graphics card in this system. It's not going to blow you away by any means, but it's going to get the job done when it comes to encoding to Twitch TV, which is what we're looking to do. Now, what about our case? There's no reason to put this in the same case as the other system. That would be a little confusing, and while it would look great in the Cougar MX330, it's better that we put it in a Cooler Master Master Box Lite 5. This is going to be a great case for cable management management, airflow, plenty of space to do stuff. Awesome there. No complaints from me. For $20 more, you can also get an awesome RGB version if you would like. In regards to our power supply, we are going to be overclocking here, so we're going to be kind of beefing up our power supply a little more than we need to. We're going with a 750 watt EVGA G3 Gold certified power supply, which is awesome. And Typically we would be done here, but we're not. We're also throwing in an Avere Media Live Gamer HD into this system, into the PCI slot, in order for you to inline your video from your other system and capture it. So. Awesome stuff there. That is what you need to uh, set up a dual Twitch streaming setup. Someone suggested I make this video, and here you go. Our streaming setup comes in at $1,402.88, and the combined total price for both of these builds is a stunning $2,401.59. Kind of a lot if you're just getting into Twitch streaming. However, if you're starting to make it a job, it's pretty good entry cost. Nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We make tons of awesome PC build guides, tons of awesome videos about PC gaming, all that stuff every single day of the week. You will not regret it. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech, and I'm out guys. Peace.